Good morning, good afternoon and good evening to all denarians on the go and in the know, like subscribe, and share to help support our channel. If you have not already done so, pick up your free trial copy of the Currency Exchange Planner and check out the all-new Currency Exchange Planner Companion, voted the number one pre- and post-RV planning tool for the dinar and cryptocurrency communities. Also, pick up your free blockchain-based secure Brave browser, and get paid in crypto to surf the internet today. There are many different ways to make money in crypto, the Brave browser is one of the easiest. Both the links are in the description box below this video. First article of interest for today, Al Zrafi de Plaza 8, Iraq is going through great challenges and we have put in place the necessary plans to overcome the challenges. Today, Saturday, the Prime Minister designate, Adnan al Zarfi, received the head of the United Nations mission in Iraq, Janine Plaza 8. A statement issued by his office, Euphrates News received a copy of it, that, during the meeting, they discussed the developments of the political, security and economic conditions in Iraq the work of the United Nations mission and its future plans, its support for early elections, and its assistance in conducting fair elections. Al Zorfi stressed during the meeting that, Iraq is going through great challenges and we have laid down the necessary plans to overcome many of these challenges that were among the first priorities of our curriculum, including direct preparation for the upcoming elections as soon as his government gains the confidence of parliament and the international community for Iraq during the coming period. Next article of interest, amid economic warnings, the citizen will be a victim. The central bank, the rise in the dollar exchange rate will end this week. The central bank of Iraq revealed the implementation of several steps to control the high exchange rate of the dollar in the markets. In the same context, the exchange rates of the dollar fell on the stock market and local markets. Yesterday. Saturday, 4 April 2020. The central bank has implemented a number of steps to control the exchange rate of the dollar, central bank spokesman Acer Jabbar said, noting that the bank will try, in any way, to curb this large disparity. Jabbar said, there are some weak souls speculating in dollars, so the central bank will try, in any way, to curb this huge disparity and we expect the current week to solve this issue related to the rise in the dollar price. He explained, the most important of these steps is opening sales outlets and strengthening banks in hard currency. While, he suggested that the rise in the exchange rate of the dollar against the local currency would end this week. And the exchange rate of the dollar has recorded in the local markets during the past days, a remarkable increase reaching sometimes from 126 to 128,000 dinars per $100. For his part, General Director of the Financial Operations and Debt Management Department at the Central Bank of Iraq, Mahmoud Dagger, revealed the reasons for the high exchange rate of the dollar against the dinar. Dagger said that the high dollar exchange rate is due to the overlapping of a set of expectations for the financial crisis in Iraq which is caused by the decline in oil prices and accompanied by the impact of the beer flu and curfews, which resulted in the resulting halt in economic activities. He added that all these factors are added to them by stopping the outlets of selling currencies in the central bank, which led to a rise in the exchange rate of the dollar and a decrease in the value of the Iraqi currency, indicating that the central bank was not able to stop the rise in exchange rates due to the suspension of the auction of selling the currency, nor the existence of a real interventionist management at the exchange rate from the central bank, as it had done previously. He explained that the window stopped, and there is no real economic activity in the market only for foodstuffs, and we find that the demand for the dollar rises, and the exchange rate rises with him, indicating that the issue relates to future expectations and that the reassurances were not at the required level regarding the payment of salaries and a recent print currency, which led to a lot of seeking to convert what he has from dinars to dollars. He continued, I think with the intervention of the central bank from next week and the expected increase in the price of oil, it may reduce the severity of the increase in the exchange rate explaining that the central bank announced the opening of a window to sell the dollar next week, 
and it has already opened the doors of certain transfers for the food and the medicine didn't work very well because they stayed open for a short time. He pointed out that if there is reassurance in terms of oil prices and improvement in public finances due to high levels of revenue and because of the intervention of the central bank and the injection of foreign currency into the market, then all of these factors, if combined correctly, and not one of them, will stabilize the exchange rate. For his part, the economic expert, Wissam al Tamimi, warned of the high exchange rates of the dollar in the local markets, pointing to most commodities that will witness a rise in prices, especially since most of them reach Iraq through import. Al Tamimi said in a press statement that the central bank has a cash reserve in excess of $60 billion, and therefore it is able to curb the rise in the exchange rate of the dollar in local markets. He added that raising the dollar exchange rate may be taken by the government as an excuse to compensate for the losses in oil selling prices, but that will make the citizen a victim of the dollar, especially since many transactions are carried out in dollars, in addition to the fact that most of the commodities are imported from outside the country and purchased in dollars. He indicated that the positive side of the high dollar exchange rate is the resort of most investors in the private sector to setting up factories inside Iraq instead of importing goods at a high price from abroad, which will boost national production, and Iraq may turn from an importing country to a source within 10 years. Next article of interest. Central Bank. The law does not allow us to lend to the government and intervene indirectly to save the state. The Ministry of Planning revealed the most prominent recommendations of the committee to address the repercussions of the economic crisis on citizens, confirming that it will be discussed at the meeting of the Supreme Committee today, Sunday, and while he indicated that the central bank does not allow the government to lend to the government, he made it clear that he interfered indirectly to support the state's fiscal policy. A spokesman for the Ministry of Planning, Abdal Zahrul Hindawi, said in an interview with al -Zora, uh, the committee to address the repercussions of the economic crisis on citizens due to the outbreak of the corona pandemic continues its work, headed by the Minister of Planning, to continue its work. He explained, the most prominent recommendations are to provide an emergency financial grant to those affected by the current conditions, and to launch exemptions for importing foodstuffs to secure the food basket for citizens as well as to support the agricultural sector by exempting peasants and farmers from all the benefits, loans, and benefits arising from their debts with the government. He continued, in addition to exempting citizens from water, electricity and other services fees, as well as securing the ration card items, pointing out that these recommendations will be discussed by the Supreme Committee for Health and Safety to combat the corona pandemic which will hold its meeting today Sunday headed by Prime Minister Adel Abdul Mahdi. With regard to the emergency grant, Al-Hindawi said, the Supreme Committee headed by Abdul Mahdi will discuss in its meeting today the mechanism for distributing the grant and determining the categories covered as well as determining the amount, stressing that a statement will be issued for the outcome of the meeting of the Supreme Committee. The Ministry of Planning identified the groups covered by the emergency grant approved by the committee to address the repercussions of the economic crisis on citizens. The spokesman for the ministry, Abdal Zara al Bayati, said, The groups covered by the emergency grant are the families who have no salary or any income from the state, which does not have an employee or affiliate, and is not covered by social welfare. He pointed out that the Ministry of Planning has a database for families under the poverty line, which is estimated at 2 million families and by 10 million people in this number is covered by the grant. Al-Hindawi added that the proposal will go to the cabinet to be in the form of a decision, and during this period in which all the details of determining the included and the distribution mechanisms will be completed, indicating that the Ministry of Planning will rely on the database it has on the poor in the whole country, as well as take advantage of the Ministry of Trade data for the ration card. He continued that after the approval of this recommendation by the Supreme Committee on Health and Safety will be put all the details of access and targeting for these FAMILIES, noting that the Ministry of Planning will start its work from tomorrow.
working in this framework in coordination with other PARTIES and clarified the average number members of a single family or five people, which means that the same family will receive about 150,000 dinars, C-O-N-F-I-R-M-I-N-G that the amount has been secured from the central bank, which amounts to 300 billion dinars. He pointed out that the committee set a 10-day deadline to complete the logistical procedures for the purpose of dispersing the grant. The Ministry of Planning announced the allocation of 300 billion Iraqi dinars to those affected by the corona pandemic crisis. In another context, the Director General of Accounting at the Central Bank, Isan Shamram, stressed that the Central Bank law does not allow lending to the government but the central bank can contribute to supporting public financial policy and save the state from bankruptcy indirectly. Shemram said in an interview with Al Zara, the central bank, as an advisor to the government, gives recommendations and proposals to the government for the purpose of strengthening public financial policy, as the law prohibits the central bank from lending to the government, without saying that the central bank, when it is absolutely necessary, can intervene through the market secondary in the event that the government decreased its financial revenues. He explained, if the government needs financing, it can issue financial bonds through the Ministry of Finance and certain amounts to the empowered banks, which are usually the government to purchase these bonds. In the event of a lack of cash liquidity for these banks and their inability to go along with the state's affairs, the central bank can intervene through buying these bonds from the secondary market, e from banks. He continued, This process took place in 2014 when the double crisis occurred, the entry of ISIS and the collapse of oil prices, as the central bank agreed as a government advisor, the Ministry of Finance and the government to launch financial bonds by the Ministry of Finance with a value of 16 trillion dinars and purchased by the three government banks Rafa Dane and Rashid and the Iraqi trade and when the liquidity decreased with the banks and the government was unable to secure the salaries of the employees, the central bank entered to buy the bonds from the banks in order to save the financial policy, stressing that the central bank's intervention is indirect according to its law. He pointed out that the government can borrow from international institutions such as the International Monetary Fund in the event of a lack of financial revenues because Iraq is rich and its oil materials could be the largest guarantee of its external debt. Note, the above statement is referring to Iraq borrowing from the IMFSDR, Standard Drawing Rights, a source of liquidity. Notice a worldwide theme going on lately around could we have a liquidity problem on our hands? This is why I keep harping on the XRP digital asset, also known as liquidity on demand. Everything is starting to tie together nicely. The next few weeks should get really interesting for us as both Iraqi dinar holders and XRP hodlers. Yes, interesting times for sure, almost like this was all planned beforehand. Hmm. Hit the like and subscribe button to be alerted as more articles of interest videos are posted. Be sure to check out the Denarian blog, Facebook and Twitter as I also update on those platforms as well. Pick up your free trial copy of the newly upgraded Currency Exchange Planner and check out the all-new Exchange Planner Companion before you leave. Use the promo code. The Denarian to get 25% off at checkout when you decide to unleash the full planner's abilities, along with the mobile application added free for being my subscriber. Register today as an affiliate with the Gold Savings Carrot Bar program. If you do not keep your savings in an real asset like gold, you risk everything as the fiat system fails. Protect your family's wealth today in physical gold, as tomorrow may be too late. This program is made so even low-income people can buy gold, by offering it one gram at a time, which makes it affordable to everyone. Get involved today, it's free to register and secure your family's savings tomorrow. All of the links to these invaluable programs are available in the description box below this video, go check them out, knowledge is power, using that knowledge is powerful, over and out for now, the Denarian.